I really wanted to do this video because the bomb shooter's pretty good right now, and I have a feeling Ninja Kiwi is going to nerf it into the ground fairly soon, and I'm definitely afraid of that. So today we ask the question, can a bomb shooter beat chimps mode all by himself with a hero? Yes, we've actually done it before. We did it on chimps mode, but now can we do it on an advanced map? Holy crap. So some of this is a thinking game. You have to think about how it's going to work before it even starts. And the unfortunate thing is we can only build one cannon. So is there any advanced maps in existence where we can build a single cannon and actually get started in here? Great, great question. The problem is round six is already four green balloons. And not only do we have to survive round six, we're gonna have to survive round six, seven, and eight. Uh, and I just I just don't see it happening. I mean, on any, any map. I mean, this is probably one of the easier advanced maps in the game for a cannon to do something on, and there's just way too many balloons sneaking through. And that leads us to think, well, hey, Chris, if you can just do a hero start, well, then you can get things flowing and get things rolling and actually make stuff happen. So if you just do a Sada start or maybe a Geraldo start, oh, you can't do Geraldo starts anymore. Maybe a Sada start, maybe a Quincy start, you can, you can get flowing in here. And that is indeed true. We can do that, but we will be eventually be hampered because Quincy cannot solo DDTs and uh, Sada cannot solo DDTs and cannons don't have any cam detection whatsoever. So that's just a big fat no-no. So the next thing we can do is say, well, we lost. We freaking lost. It's impossible, but we can make some slight adaptations to maybe make this a reasonable challenge to do. First of all, we give, give ourselves a few extra dollars. We give ourselves $270 here to give us enough money to do an Etienne start. And Etienne's really important for my Chimps Plus Plus runs because he does one thing very, very well. Camo detection. He gives camo detection, and that can make it so you, uh, uh, you know, can survive with, with weird towers and weird situations that uh, normally don't have camos. So unfortunately, he is part of a lot of our runs here. Question is, can we get going? Can we get a cannon in time before we start to lose? And can we do this somewhat easily and still get a cannon in time to actually beat some of the medium difficulty uh, early rounds? <laughs> Gosh, if I know, but we have to give it a try. One other thing that I wanted to mention is Map choice is really important on these runs because you want to figure out which, what what the best tower is for your situation, right? Uh, and in this situation, I think the cannons are probably going to be pretty good on this map because we got a really nice area right up here for Moab popping power, and we still have a couple options available to us down on the bottom here to give us some random cleanup power as well. So uh, that's my plan. Um, no guarantees at all, but let's give it a shot. Okay, okay. Uh, for some reason, this guy's trying to shoot from this really, really long distance stupidness, so that's not very good. Um, and it looks like we are already losing to round eight. Now, at this point, I don't have any targeting or anything, so it's kind of just up to him to, like, see if he does things right or not. Uh, I wish I could, like, micro with him, but I, I just physically can't. It doesn't doesn't let me. So I'm gonna give this, like, maybe, like, 5, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, 20, 34, 50, 100 tries just to see if maybe we'll get lucky. So look at this. See what I mean? Luck. Look at this. We're up in the front here. Maybe we just need that to happen for us. And then we do need to chase here, but if we hit the biggest, strongest balloons and shoot down straight lines quite a bit, we might have a chance. Ooh, it's looking pretty brutal. Looking pretty brutal. Dang. Okay, I think I gotta call it. It's officially over as far as the is concerned. Unless, maybe this will go up, come up in time. I, I I don't think so. Uh, I guess I could restart and buy it before round uh, eight here. But, um, oh, wait. Are we, are we just stronger now? We're just gonna get lucky? We're, uh, I don't understand. But, okay, we gotta use it. We gotta use it. Come on, get it up in time. Get it up in time. That's what she said. And we do! We managed to beat round eight and... I think we'll also beat round nine here. I think, hopefully, this is a tough round for us. Come on, get going, get going. We still haven't even built our first cannon in, a, in our Chimps Plus Plus run. How miserable. All right, again, another scary round here, round 10. We're fighting against the grain here. We're gonna pop these guys out. Let's see if we can catch up in time. This is actually kind of good timing and it does allow us to get our first cannon. And I'm gonna throw my cannon right about, I think that's a pretty decent spot. Still kind of hit some things over here and over here. We're gonna put them on strong as well. And we have to decide what kind of cannon we want to go for here. Or if we want to just go for a couple base cannons. All right, for now, I've decided on a frag bombs cannon. I think the cluster cannon, if we can get him in time, will be the most ideal thing for us to have. He'll just kind of explode in a general radius up in the front here and just clean up a lot of random balloons. Um, we'll have uh, Etienne sort of clean up. And so far, it's going pretty good. And for round 15, I'm just gonna do it. Kind of a little on the early side here. I'm just gonna use my ability because that'll allow us to get enough money for a cluster cannon. Holy crap, we're on our way to making some stuff happen here. Beautiful. 
Believe it or not, things are going pretty well. We're popping the balloons all over the place. They just keep on dying, and we keep on killing all the time. I'm sorry. I had to do it. All right, here we go. We got a really big bombs already. As far as positioning goes, I'm still kind of unsure, but I figured that the closer we get to the map here, uh, the, the better we're probably off. And then for, uh, against balloons in particular, and then for our Moab Mauler army, which I think is probably going to end up happening later on, the further we are away is probably better because we're shooting really, really, really slow balloons, right? Except for DDTs. Um, and I think that'll be the best uh, and most efficient way to do my stuff. But we have to be careful. We've got a Moab coming in per fairly soon here, so... Uh, we gotta make sure we get enough Moab Mullers as well to make sure we not only pop the balloons, but pop them before they get to the very back here and force Etienne to try to pop all the ceramics. So, let's be smart. Let's go for, uh, maybe like a do- oh, crap, oh, crap, boop! Uh, let's go for like a couple of Moab Mullers here. And, uh, possibly build a th well, another cannon kind of in the bottom down here to pop everything. That's the plan. Let's, uh... See if we can make it happen, boys. All right, a round that I often lose on, because I'm an idiot, is round 37. I always end up forgetting that chemical balloons are a problem, because I'm like, oh, Etienne's got everything covered, but he needs 12 more experience to make it actually all go down properly and give all of my cannons full cam detection forever. Um, so we're going to activate this ability extra, extra early, so we can- Oh my god, why do they shoot from such a far distance, man? Like, get to work, guys! Um, and now that we got this set up here, we're gonna go for our second mode mauler, and we're gonna build another cannon in the bottom down here. I think you just put him directly in the corner. You know, uh, if we can fit more cannons around him, better, but not a necessity. It looks like we can fit at least one more, maybe two more, depending on how beefy this cannon is. But, uh, I think, normally I'd like to go for a bottom path. Alright, it's good against balloons, but if we're thinking long term, we're thinking around 80 to 100, we gotta think what's gonna be best against those ceramics, or those balloons and it's definitely gonna be a top path cannon. Blue impact, let Etienne's drones and random crap in the bottom down here kind of uh, uh, pop them and let this crap slow it down. Ooh, look at this, ooh, scary stuff. And I think the best thing to go for is probably the faster reload. So let's get our drones flowing in here. Um, going pretty well. We get a couple shots out with these guys. Uh, it's definitely a tough battle, but with this cannon in the back, can we get lucky? We do! Wonderful! The first Moab does go down. This is where we get to the round breaker. Or not the round breaker. What am I talking about, Chris? What you smoking? This is where we get to the, uh, the, uh, the, the run breaker here, okay? We're not talking about, like, you know, somebody's just on a run, you know, running the marathon, or maybe just on a cool, nice little jog, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just... Guy with a lead pipe jumps out and breaks his knees, okay? That's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about making a mistake that causes us to lose our run. And if we make a mistake by spending too much money on things that don't help us, we could easily, easily, easily lose. But I'm noticing Moabs are already a major issue for us, and I think the only way to deal with that is with uh, Moab Maulers. I think I'm also going to go for the extra range and frag bombs on... I think all of these guys, because I need that black popping power for DDTs. So uh, the frag cannon should be uh, able to do that for us. So we're not making any mistakes that I know of. And we're going to see if these guys can uh, keep on popping Moabs and kind of keep on cleaning up some of the balloons for now. Or we're going to try to save up our money because we want to go for the fifth tier cannons. It's really the only answer to beating the game. We need fifth tier cannons and we need enough of them to actually make sense for us. Question is, which ones do we want to go for? Um, and can we get all of them? So first of all, Bloom Crush, $60,000. Mobile Limiter, $27,000. Bomb Blitz, $37,800. Oh my god, that's pretty expensive. I don't think we can get that. That's, uh, I mean, we're talking about like $150,000 plus. I think in Chimps mode, you make about $169,000, $170,000, something like that. So, uh, we basically have to spend every single dollar in those three cannons, and that's pretty much it. So if there was a cannon that I was going to dodge, it would probably be the bottom path cannon, because on Chimps mode, we're not losing a life. We don't care about losing one single life in this game, so we don't care about uh, that extra bonus of uh, exploding everything on the screen. Um, but a Moab Eliminator would be pretty sweet to obviously pop Moabs and pop the Bad Balloon. Means the Bad Balloon would have zero uh, issues for us. And then if we can get a Moab Eliminator and a Balloon Crush at the same time, could you imagine the power? So that's really what I'm trying for. I want a Balloon Crush. So we're going to just try our very, very, very best, spend the least amount of money possible the entire time, uh, and if we have to build another $1,000 Moab Mauler or a 
$3,000 cannon. I'm going to do it, but I want to just see how long can we survive um, before we have to spend more money. Otherwise, we're going to buy a Blood Crush. And the cool thing is we have Etienne getting stronger and stronger every single round. Um, we've already got uh, these two abilities kind of like ready to go here. And this is one I haven't even used very much. So for round 63, this could be an easy answer, man. I know we're, we're got cannons, but it's still round 63. It's not, yo, look at this, round 60 already. Okay, okay. Um, screw it. Let's use our ability. You know, why, why not? Um, 61 shouldn't be that bad. 62 shouldn't be that, that bad. But dang, dude, even three Mullers is pretty, pretty tricky here. But we do have a lot of money. I mean, we're halfway to our blue. Oh! All right. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, this. Is... I don't love it. I don't love it. What's what's actually killing us? Is it the balloons? Is it the moebs? Is it is it something else? I am very curious. Uh, it's kind of the balloons somewhat sneaking through at this point. Like we just don't have enough balloon popping power, so we're gonna go for a recursive cluster. I'm also gonna move this guy to first instead of close, because I think that him shooting the frontest balloons is probably beneficial for us. Again, spending a reasonable amount of money here, but it does seem to help out quite a bit. All right, a new hurdle for us to jump over. I just lost 62 as well. Reinforced Moab's coming out. Um, we don't have to deal with we don't have to deal with that many of these guys. But we do have to deal with some of them, and I really think if I rely on Etienne's first ability for reinforced Moebs, and the second ability for anything that's ridiculously larger than that, we should be okay. And again, back to halfway there to Bloom Crush, and we have to use our ability already kind of early on round 63. Hopefully it sticks around long enough to get through all three rushes. Um, second rush is done, and he stops doing it! Uh-oh, this could be rough, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. They are cannons, after all. Freaking cannons, bro. Um, but it's the biggest rush of them all. But with everybody's help, we do beat round 63. Right, we're really moving up in the world, man. We're really moving up in the world. We're pushing. Oh, crap. More reinforced moabs and tons of bloons. Okay, this is pretty unfortunate. This is what I'm going to try. All right, so it does seem like the moabs are indeed going down. Um, it is the bloon sneaking through. So I'm going to say bloon impact, man. Uh, maybe the bloon impact will just be quick enough to uh, stall these balloons in perpetuity, allowing everybody to just die. Oh crap, we do have Moab sneaking through, don't we? Okay. With Etienne's help? Oh. So what I'm noticing is the saving up $60,000 thing is not really working. So we're going to change our strategy. All right, we're going to just do it. We're going to go for a Moab Eliminator. I'm going to go for one right in the middle of the map uh, on the front side. I got the money for it already, and that should pop all the Moabs, no problem. So if I do need to do anything, uh, it's... What, what is what is that? With, with a mob eliminator? Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm now rethinking my strategy that now that that just happened. Really? Duh. Duh. What? A freaking mob eliminator, man. This thing should be dominating the moabs. Like, like, completely and entirely. And it does not seem to be doing as much as I thought it would. But that time we got a lot more lucky or a lot more skillful with our ability. Not really sure which. Other which way, I have to stay on top of my abilities here, and we're down to base money. We're, we're, down, we're down to nothing. Garbage money at this point. I mean, we're looking at just throws in the garbage at this point. Who cares about $4,000? It's got nothing for us. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Look at this. Look at this. Round 65, get, getting down to the... Okay, we're getting to some tough rounds here. 75 and 76. Let's see if we can manage these guys. I think the easiest way is if we use Etienne's first ability here for 75. Um, ooh, this is looking pretty tricky. Uh, all right, we're going to go for a late UCAV here, and we're going we're gonna to think about if this doesn't last through 76. Uh, come on, come on. Start 76. Do it, do it, do it. Take it down, please. UCAV it. Finish it off. Finish it. Yes. Dang. Dang in the best way possible. Why did I say dang? I don't know. That was like, yeah, all right. I'm like, I'm pumped right now. Pumped. And we are again saving up $60,000 somehow <laughs> for a balloon crush, maybe. If we get a balloon crush, I mean, this life will be really, really, really awesome. If we don't get a balloon crush, though, I don't want to say we're totally boned, but yeah, we're prob probably boned. Okay, uh, 77 is already a big issue for us. Um... We're gonna try to mob eliminate some something here. I don't know what I want to do just yet. The biggest balloons, obviously. BFBs, just eliminate. We'll do some drone action here as well. I don't have my UCAB, which is kind of the life savior at this point. All right, a lot of the mobs ended up getting popped, which is actually kind of unfortunate. And these balloons will 
end up not sneaking through. A beautiful. That still scares the crap out of me. Like, how do we save up $30,000 without spending that much more money? There's not that much we could do with the cannons at this point. Look at this. Oh, look at these balloons. And the UCAV. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we got to use the UCAV a little bit earlier, obviously. It's okay, but I don't think we're going to get it back for the second rush of full ceramics. And it's making me be kind of weirded out because I feel like I need to go for another random, possibly recursive cluster with heavy bombs. Um, I know that I went for the... You know what? Let's just do it. I'm just going to freaking do it. Uh, I need more balloon popping power. Let's go for the recursive cluster with the, the heavy bombs. Hope that we can clean up enough mobs here and just do the balloon popping power right here while everything else is stunning and doing work and everything. I'd rather not do it in the back. Back, 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 back. Uh, oh, we're getting kind of lucky with the recursive, but not lucky enough. Okay, let's just do this. Let's get this guy a little earlier before the big rush of ceramics. We're just trying to uh, save this ability for... Uh, this, this, the, the camo version, even though they should be the exact same thing, I guess. All right, it's just too big. It's too beefy. All right, just out of curiosity, could we, uh, do a blue impact with missile launcher to make this happen? Um, just two stutters? Maybe? I mean, usually I would not want to do this, but if we just keep them on the screen for a really, really long time, maybe it'll work. Unfortunately, that also doesn't work, and it did significantly worse than the bottom path cannon. So we're gonna try the bottom path cannon again. Uh, with heavy bombs. And I just, I, I don't want to say luck needs to be involved here, but, but, but also I'm just going to do this really, really early. And I think we might get it back for round 78 anyways. Maybe. Uh, I'm sorry that I just feel like I'm moaning today at you guys, but it's just one of those things where everything I'm doing here just is paining me. I like, I really need like a, a stress ball or something like that right now because I, <laughs> I need the, uh, I need the pain and suffering of, of 78 being a problem to just go away for me. All right, UCAV does come up again, so that was really the answer all that I needed. Uh, but I guess this guy's not a terrible tower to have on our screen. Having a lot of extra balloon popping power, nothing wrong with it. But again, it just keeps us away from the tower that we really, really, really want, which is the Bloom Crush. Um, fortunately for us, the 80s should be relatively easy. Uh, and... Uh, as long as I get the Blue Crush before DDTs, we'll be totally fine. If I can't get him before DDTs, though, complete change in strategy. All right, it's gonna suck. I know. It's, I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna hate life. But it's just, it's just part of it. All right, look at this, though. Reinforced BFBs are going down now. And we can kill Zoomer Gerds with reasonable ease. All right. Yeah, I mean, all right. Things are, things are happening at this point. Um, not, not enough happenings, though. All right, I got an idea. My mob maulers have been on strong. I'm going to switch them to first. All right. This is just going to make the mobs not pop as quickly, which will give me more time to pop the ceramics. Um, and that could just just as easily give me enough popping power. Um, the only worry here is that if you take too long to pop them, they still will eventually automatically overwhelm you. Now, I'm trying to do this without using abilities. Uh, yeah, as soon as these just took a ceramics thing through, like, you, you know you're done so, man. Um, so I can survive another round, but does that really help me? I, I, I don't know. Uh, not necessarily, honestly. Not necessarily at all. But I am close. $20,000. It's not close at all, is it? That's very far away. Upsettingly far away. Okay, reinforced BFB is coming out. Kablamo, Shazamo, we somehow pop up. All right. Good news for once. Well, this is brutal. Bunches of Moebs definitely too quick for us. And uh, they're easily going to sneak through here with a terribly timed UCAP. So we're going to UCAV a little earlier this time. And I might have to switch my mobs back to strong just for this round, which is also quite goofy. Uh, let's see if this will go down properly. Strongity strong with the UCAV, 83. I don't want to say no problem, but definitely doable this time. And then we're going to switch these guys back to first. Um, I could also do like a little bit of a little bit of strong action. Maybe one of these guys is on strong, the rest on first. But we're only $10,000 away from Blue Crush. And that will be a huge, huge, huge help for us here. Okay, uh, another big chunk of Moabs. Barely hanging on here against these Moabs. Let's get this thing flowing. And I think that's going to sneak through. I don't think we can deal with these things. Ugh. I'm sorry for all the moaning I'm doing today, guys. I'm just... Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, I need more... What do I need? I don't... Strong won't even help with this. That's the weirdest part about all of it. Okay, do I need to spend more money? The most unfortunate statement in all of the world do i need to spend more money i think so uh let's go for one more mob mauler 
I think that might be enough. We're going to put him on strong. We are going to go for the frag bombs here. Again, just helps out for round 90 if it comes down to it. But I need $14,000 for round 90 or else I automatically lose. Um, I think Zoma Gods will not be that big of a deal because of this mode eliminator. But everything else might be a problem. Okay, drones. Drones, yes, helping us out. One Moab Mauler. Good, good, good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mob eliminate. And uh, we got some more ceramics trying to sneak through in the back back here. And the drones do not get them. Uh, got another really weird idea. Let's try a Moab Mauler right here and put him on close. All right, we'll get the, uh, the entire radius here of damage. And because of this, I'm also going to do bigger bombs on this guy, which again, is kind of a goofy thing to do, but maybe just maybe it'll help us out that little tiny bit that we need. Um, a, a, a close Moab Mauler to actually get us going in here. I, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds fun. Sounds cool, but it's kind of doing something here. Look at this. We're actually popping the Moabs. Heck yeah. Oh, no, no, we're not. No, they're overwhelming us. They're overwhelming us, but barely. Uh, but barely. This cannon is hanging on. We got a few more ceramics to deal with. And we get unlucky. We decided on two Moab Maulers this time around. As unfortunate as that is. I did not use my Moab Eliminator properly. And a tons of balloons are sinking through. Like, ridiculous amounts. That's kind of stupid. I, I don't understand. And I don't, I don't want a Bomb Blitz. I can afford a Bomb Blitz, but I don't want a Bomb Blitz. I don't know what to do. Alright, really quickly, let's just try the Bloon Impact again. I, you get a pretty good amount of stunnage on the, uh, the ceramics back here, but... I think it's better off than going for three or four more Moab Maulers, you know? So, just throw them in the back back here and see if this is going to randomly be enough. Just uh, let the uh, Etienne power kind of do its work. And it is kind of working, actually. Uh, lots of stunning power. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really do a good job with my Moab Eliminator, and now these things are trying to sneak through. But I will have a UCAV up in time that I think will save the day. And I think I'm going to use it because I think 85 is going to be pretty easy. So here we go. We're going to UCAV. I'm still going to el eliminate. And 84 will go down. All right, we survive. We have $52,000 here. We can eliminate these Oh My Gods, and I think we're on our way to making some awesome stuff happen. By the way, if you don't know, Eliminators can now go through uh, balloons, specifically Oh My Gods, into BFBs, into Moabs, and into the balloons. So if you have the ability to, wait until the Oh My God gets damaged just a little bit, and then actually go for the kill, the kill shot. All right, now here's the main, the main question. Can we survive round 86 and 87? If so, we will get a balloon crush in time. We will get a Bloom Crush in time. And that will mean life will be so, so good for us. Okay, I did not do what I said to do. I did not let the Zone My Gods get damaged enough first. All right, get damaged a little bit. Insta-kill. Get damaged a little bit. Insta-kill. And this one, it could be unfortunate, but yeah, we don't insta-kill. All right, I'm going to try to UCAV this. Just to take it down. We do UCAV through it. Um, and unfortunately, we did not quite get the money necessary until around 88. But that means we do get the Bloom Crush, what I've been fighting for. Against the grain, all game to achieve has been achieved. Oh my goodness. Bloom crush. So does this mean we win? <laughs> not quite. Not 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 quite. Um but it does mean all the Moabs, including the DDTs, will get stunned. Alright. <gasps> I think. He doesn't have black popping power. But he has camera detection. But he does have bl black popping power because of blue crush. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um Hopefully, we're good. Let's see, DDT stunning power. I'm like 99% confident, but there's that 1% that's just like weighing on me. Like, please, for the love of everything. Yes, he does. Woo, all right. Good news for us. We can do this with $300, $270 extra at the beginning of the game here. We're going to pull off a Chimps Plus Plus, but it's not over yet. That is very much the truth. It is not over yet. But having a Bloom Crush just makes so much th things so much easier, so I'll meet you guys back on 94. If you guys are feeling like giving some love today, you can use my creator support code. It's SJB. I really do appreciate it, by the way, and I know it's just words, but I, I appreciate it so, so much, so thank you guys. The reason why I like to show off round 94 is because it's a big, beefy Bloom level. It is basically round 98, not on steroids. Um, so when you get to steroided, ro roided up round 98, um, you're gonna kind of have to gauge how good things are going right now and kind of decide what you want to build based on that. So, uh, right now, 94 is going down pretty easily. No complaints from me, no abilities required. Looks pretty good. And then the nice thing is round 95 is coming up, so we'll also be able to see real DDTs just go down forever. You know, we only got round 99 left, and if we got a Bloom Crush, we're expecting 95, 99 to be pretty easy. DDT shouldn't be that bad. 
Um, Etienne just reached level 20 as well, so uh, he's got the extra special powerful UCAV here, and the consistent constant UCAV action that just allows us to pop a crap ton of balloons. So at this point, some people might just start building all their things. They might just say, you know what? Round 100 is going to be a problem. Let me just spend all of my money on Moa Mollers. And then they don't realize, oh crap, there's actually not enough loot pop about for round 98 for some reason. Or uh, the reinforced EDTs on round 99 kill them. They're like, oh, oh crap, I, I did this wrong. I, I made a mistake. The only unfortunate part about making a mistake is you cannot go back in time. You can't just say, back five rounds, back ten rounds. That would be a really cool feature, by the way, Ninja Kiwi. Really, really, really cool feature. Back five rounds, back ten rounds. Ooh, look at this, 96. Pretty beefy. Um, all right, let's just eliminate some of this crap here. Uh, 95 went down, by the way, and then... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just got them <laughs> destroyed backwards! Holy crap, I didn't realize Bloom Crush is on first, and maybe I should keep him on strong. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Either which way, things are going pretty good at this point. But I don't want to waste my money, because I don't know what's going to end up killing me. And I have continues available. If you don't have continues, if you're playing a true chimps game, or you're trying to get the black chimps medal where you can't exit out and come back, yes, spend the money. Don't, uh, j just gauge things. See what, see what's the issue. See if DDT's the issue, get some DDT popping power. If balloons are the issue, get some extra whatever you need to pop the balloons. Um, but for us, I don't know what the issue is going to be, and I want to play it safe. I have continues available, so, uh... I'm just gonna wait it out and maybe we'll just end the game with a crap ton of money and that's even more interesting for us to know that cannons late game cannons specifically if you get a bloom crush and a mobile limiter combo is one of the best combos you can possibly get right um and here we go round 98 is done easy easy no problems at all uh, and i have a feeling that round 99 is not gonna be a problem either and then all we got to do is one thing pop a freaking bag that sounds easy, but we did do one thing. We front-loaded our defense, which is the exact wrong thing to do against a bad balloon, admittedly. Uh, but because I have $40,000 saved at this point, I'm going to pump blitz it. Do I do it? Three fifth-tier towers? Three fifth-tier cannons? I kind of want to, just for the giggles. Um, all right, I'm going to wait till around 100, though, just, just in case it is a mistake. I don't want to lose. But here we go. Bam! Bomb Blitz! Alright, we got two Mobile Eliminators. We're going to use this as well. We're going to use every single build we got here. Uh, it's really up to the Mobile Eliminator here. And it needs to be the Bloom Crush that sends these things backwards. Otherwise, we might not be able to pop them. And then we do. We send them backwards. So, oh my god, it's getting sent back. Unbelievable. We have done it, my friends. We just chimps plus plus cannons for you folks. Oh. With just a few hundred extra dollars. Okay, and that's it. Mobile Eliminator, actually the highest popper on our team, and not the, uh, uh, whoa, Bloom Crush, 245,000 pop. This, this guy at 150k, 189k. This, Moab Eliminator, Moab Assassin at 229k. That's about as much as our Bloom Crush. That's actually really weird. And this guy at 4,000. Etienne, 385,000. More than our Bloom Crush by a significant amount. Very interesting results overall, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this really weird explosive video and uh uh if you did press that like button and of course have a super duper delicious day